Ah, I've lost the Colosseum again. I found the Colosseum again. I should have put a travel ward down, really. Right, oh, some. Yeah, because you don't need the other one, I don't think. Wait, what? How many medallions you got? Uh, plenty. I've got three. Well, no, I've got two. One. Zero. Uh, ooh, that's a good question, actually. What have I done? Ah, that's where it is. Okay, collect medallion. Right, I don't need that one. That is a Glico farm, and we don't need to farm any more Glico because we farmed all of the Glico. So instead, I will put travel medallion here. Where are we up to? Okay, I can maybe go a little longer. Huzzah! Ooh. There we go. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, bum. Ba -dum, ba -da -bum, bum. Right, so we now need 60 opal. This is technically coming in as about what, 30 rupees per opal. Good job we've got a ruby uh, we've got a gem farming system, haven't we? So, how many left do you actually need now? I'll tell you in a moment. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh. I'll tell you in an extra moment. <laughs> I forgot to hit the button again. Oh dear. Right. Oh well. Opal, we've got nine. After this we'll have ten. So we'll have fifty more that we need to get. Well, fifty-one we need more to get. 
This is going to take us a while. This will take us most of half the stream. Yet, this is going to be painful for me to edit. By the way, if you're watching this in the YouTube, congratulations for making it this far. But uh, you may want to skip an episode or two at this point. Because, um, yeah, it's not going to get much more riveting than this. Lest you get another technological rant about server engineering or me ranting about the sorts of cat girls I like. Um, just, you know. Actually, I'm more of a wolf girl man myself rather than cat girl, but cat girls are cute. Oh. Prefer dogs over cats, then. Ah. Oh. Yeah, okay. Wolf girls. Brilliant. Dink, dink. Pop. Who knew this weird little mini game would actually prove so useful in the end game of this? Probably some of the most riveting gameplay I've played in a long time. Running back and forth, using boulders to rockets, constructing giant rocket propelled hammers to ring a giant bell for the entertainment of one Goron. Stood atop this cliff, trapped by an electric lizard. Well, Hydra, technically. Good job I have plenty of rupees, isn't it? More everything than the claw games in Yakuza. <laughs> uh, well, the claw games in Yakuza don't feel like they. No, no, actually, less. The claw games in Yakuza at least had a certain amount of challenge and had a certain amount of ranting. What can I rant about the unfairness of this? I'm basically getting it every single time. I'm just doing it a ludicrous number of times. I have to do this 50 more times. It, it's not the pinnacle of entertainment. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. I basically just start. Run. If this maybe somebody clip this, somebody clip a full run of this because this is, could basically go up on the YouTube as a short of how to farm opals in Tears of the Kingdom. Because all you have to do is start this stupid mini game, then you pick up this boulder and this rocket, fuse them together like this, then you drop it on the big target, go bump. Hit it with a hammer, and it goes up and goes ding, and you get an opal for it. You can get one in under 30 seconds. Brilliant problem solved. Do it 60 times. You can fully upgrade the Zora, Zora armor set. Victory. Uh. Why am I doing this with my life? Oh, well. I love this game. Every time. Every time I've gone, right, that's it. I'm done. 
We're using an exploit, we're going to glitch it, we're just going to bypass it all. The game turn rounds, turns around and goes, lol, nope, you can't do that. And I have to do it legit. The only way I can actually get this as a glitch is with the zone I set. And you know what? I am very much at peace with doing that now. Because if you think about it, in this quest to get all of the armor fully upgraded, we've had to put up with Lazophos with stupidly bad drop rates for their tails. We've had to put up with expensive upgrades where rupee farming in this game is useless. And now we have to zonite fire. We have to farm parts of constructs that we should have been farming from the start of the game and we haven't. Oh, and by the way, you also need 60 opal. So, oh well, that's fantastic. Right, no, it's... I'm done. I am done. We are just going to... We'll exploit the, the stupid zoni stuff because I can take two to... I can take the tails. I can take the rupees. I can even take the opals to some degree, but unless there is some stupidly easy way of farming all of the Zonai components, I'm done. Not even the Guardians were this much of a pain in the arse. And they were the Guardians. I'm just done. I'm just done. <laughs> just for that spawn. <laughs> Clipped for me, indeed. I will have to... I've just, if Kev's still around, but Kev, if you're around... Teach me your ways of the YouTube shorts. Um, if not, I'll figure it out. I'll, well, I'll stick it up on YouTube. YouTube focuses very much on shorts these days anyway. I could probably turn some of my clips into shorts if I had the extra time available. But between the orchestra, the jazz, the karate, and everything else, yeah, my time's pretty limited. I ended up working a quite a lengthy shift at work on Thursday. Thank goodness it wasn't... Oh, no, it was a streaming evening, actually. So, yeah, I basically finished work, got home, socialised with my sister when she visited for tea, then straight up into the live stream. That was... I mean, I enjoyed the live stream. Was very streaming is very much a pressure release ah. for me. It's where I get to sit here and play video games and talk to very brilliant people. But, yeah, I was knackered the next morning, I'm going to be honest. But that's all right. Life is short after all. Mm -hmm. Admittedly, it didn't help that I was on the red wine that evening as well, and I felt rather hungover the next morning because red wine, for some reason, does not agree with me. Wap, wap. Ta -da. I probably didn't need to think that hard about the placement of that, did I? Seventeen. We're getting there. Slowly. Surely. Oh, that's another opal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look on the bright side. If this was a curated YouTube video, or at least an edited one, 
I would basically be cutting out all of this. I might show the first couple of times, footage of the first couple of times I did this farming method to show what I did, but for the most part I would have cut this out and gone, yeah, there you go, that's how we did it. And it spent me a really long time. No, no, here you are stuck. Here you are stuck watching me in real time farming, wasting my time upon this planet, gaining 60 opal. For mm. what? To upgrade a set of armor that admittedly I quite like. <laughs> ah. Oh, Gordon Bennett, Nintendo, why did you do this to me? I am not going to trust another Zelda game for a while after this one, I'm going to be honest. I'll look at it and I'll go, oh, that's interesting, but I'm not going to trust it. <laughs> Because it will probably lead me down this exact same rabbit hole. Skyward Sword, for all its control nonsense, was a blessed relief. The playing Breath of the Wild. Because though Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are in fact, at their core, phenomenal games, doing any sort of 100% or completion with them is just... I would 100% Breath of the Wild again over this game. Just Breath of the Wild, even with Trial of the Sword, which was a painful experience at the time, oh. ah. doesn't feel anywhere near as egregious as this base game. And there's no DLC. In indeed. There's no DLC. Oh. And it's just basically, this is all you get. It's like this is a forgotten game in some ways. They could have done so much more with expanding the world and the story, and they haven't. Nintendo have just basically said, yeah, we're done, and kicked it to the curb, and now they're moving on to the next project. And they say, oh well, the Breath of the Wild formula is here to stay, but... I mean, is there much more they can do with this formula than they've done already? I suppose they probably could, but... I can't see it, I'm going to be honest. But then again, just because I can't see it doesn't mean they can't do anything with it. But... Old man yells at Cloud. Yes, old man is indeed yelling at Cloud. One of these days, I will get an old man. Well, technically, it'd be old woman, considering our emotes are our mascots of mm. Ryoko and Kerry. But still, old man yells at Cloud. Old man yells at tape-based server. Now, that is a good one. Yes. Ah. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Ah, ah, bugger. Right, okay, try again. I mean, sort of count at this point. I mean, I sort of count at this point, yeah. I can do it for you. Oh, dear. I'd say I can count, but as we have seen, I do not math very well. Bonk. Oh dear. Ah, poor Kev. Double cross, hug Kev. Oh. He needs it. Ah. What was that? 70. Massive ding. Congratulations. Here's 60 opal in one go. Yeah, we're not going to see that joyous moment, are we? No, of course not. I have to do this one at a time. Oh, what's going to kill me first? The alcohol poisoning or this game? Taking all bets. We're old men. Dang, never I remember back in our day, I didn't have DLC for our video games. It just came out on a disc or cartridge. No, I remember it coming on a cartridge. Um, I remember walking around the lo around town with my Game Boy Color in my pocket, with Pokemon Red playing the intro, the title screen on repeat because I just loved the uh, the intro music so much. I need to look that up on YouTube again, actually. I love the in I love the title screen music for Pokemon Red and Blue. It was just, it was, it was amazing. Uh. 
Ah. And I lost them. One of these days, I will get my game. I'll patch up my Game Boy Color. In fairness, it's fine. It, electronically, it's sound. It's just the start and select buttons were chewed off by a house rabbit many years ago. I'm going to buy myself a copy of red, blue, and probably yellow Pokemon again. I'll probably play them. Or, if I feel like it, I'll buy myself a second-hand Game Boy Color and I'll try and do a screen upgrade to it, which should also be quite nice, because a backlit screen would be quite, quite awesome. Well... Ah, I didn't... This is this is where I am now. I, I didn't even realise I said continue on that one. I basically just automatically pressed the buttons. This is like Enchante Half Genie Hero, where if you get the jug, j uh, the gem jar transformation, you can basically turn into a jar and farm oh. um, gems. And all you have to do then is just wiggle the analog stick back and forth continuously. So all I do is just sit in my chair with the controller literally down this side of the chair, just wiggling the analog stick back and forth to cause it to spawn gems. Ah. This is reminding me of that. It's just basically turn off your brain and do the same repetitive action 50 billion times and eventually you'll get to the end of it. Right, for fun, what's everyone's most outlandish Switch 2 predictions? It'll have a Q-Dot screen, a 50-hour battery, and it will be running an AMD Zen 5 processor. <laughs> my, my most outlandish prediction, says chat, is it's going to be the size of a portable uh. DVD player and bring back the two screens. Uh. Yeah, no. I just want it to be modern hardware, not last gen hardware. I just want it to be modern hardware with a 1490 GPU. No, that, and it'd be the size of a bus, basically. make a note of how much that was. I bet the Switch 2 won't have a noticeable upgrade besides an, LCD, an OLED screen. Yeah. <laughs> God, that wouldn't surprise me, actually. That's not so much outlandish. That just sounds like Nintendo. Um, Right. I think I need to call it a night. Best of luck, Ezio, and take care all. Fair enough, fair far. You have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. Much appreciated. Don't worry, I'm probably not going to go much longer than this anyway. I'm certainly not going to do anything more interesting than this anyway. Um... Oh, I just wasted some Zonite there, didn't I? You... That. Oh, dear. Rumours that we're going... Yeah, Switch 2 is going back to an LCD. Oh, bollocks to that. Go, oh, stick with the OLED. You've got the products... You've got the production method set up for that. Probably conclude it's too expensive or something. Uh, oh, right, one more just so I can keep tabs on how much blasted oh night I'm using. Um, opals I'm collecting.
There we go. I'm not wasting any zone like this time. The new phone I got, I'm returning because it's crap. Oh, phone. That didn't last long. Tell you what, two more. That was 29, so this should technically be 30. I don't know why I was going that way, but there we go. And that should be Bertie. We are officially halfway there. Oh. <laughs> oh, 30 more to go, and even then it doesn't matter because we've got not we've not got enough hearty bass for us to actually do the Zora, the Zora armor set yet. Well you know what? If we at least get the opal out of the way, that's one less thing to worry about. Oh, 60 opal. 60. 60 opal. Technically, I could probably get eight from the Talus farm run, but yeah, I'll, I'll just get everything from here. Another 30 should, if I don't get distracted, be another 30 minutes because I can at least get about one opal a minute. So yeah, 30 minutes of opal farming, we should be fine. But for the moment, yes. Oh, blimey. But where does that leave us? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six armor sets left to go. We're getting there. Mm, all, yeah, pretty much all of them. One, two, three, four, five of them we need. Wait, what? One, two, three, four. One. Three, four, five. Oh, right, okay. One, two, three. So, three of them... No, four of them. Yeah, four of them were at the last level. One of them were at level three, and one of them were at level two. The Zonite one is where we're at level two, so, there's yeah, that's going to be the one we glitch. The Zora armor, we're at level three, but to get past that no we're at level two but to get to level three we need more hearty bass which shouldn't be too hard and for the final level we need 60 opal which we're working on marvelous either way however as i continue to work through our numbers game we are going to save the game then save the game and then we're going to continue this next time 
And there we have it. Fantastic! We are now down to six armor sets left to do. We have 30 opal left to farm. We have several star fragments left to farm, many dragon component, le dragon parts left to farm, and then after that we will finish the armor upgrade section of this game and work on something nicer, like the recipes or the sub-stories, where I haven't actually done any voice acting for a while now, so it'll be quite nice to actually get back to that. And then after all that, we have the final boss to fight. And then after that, we have the final locations of the map to find. And then after that, blessed release from this game, we have finished Tears of the Kingdom, we never have to come back to Hyrule ever again, and I can move on to something more entertaining, like, I don't know, Batman Arkham Origins. But for the moment, and admittedly, that is quite facetious because who knows, maybe the ending, the actual story of this game seems to be quite good. So maybe I will enjoy the final fight with Ganondorf. I don't know, but we'll see how it all goes. So I'm my eyes itching at this point now. But anyway, right. With that said, if you're new here, hi, I'm Ezio. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you enjoyed what you saw, well, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that follow button, but the decision will always be yours. If you ever want to catch me live, well, I'll be right back here at 7 o'clock on Thursday, because I'm away this Tuesday on uh, or uh, orchestral business. Basically, I'm an orchestra, orchestra rehearsal, so there we go. Well, yes, I will be back here at 7 o'clock on Thursday as we continue our journey into the world of this fascinating, if not very infuriating, game. And hey, if you've missed any of our streams so far, if you've missed any of our journey into the world of this fantastic game, then you can find all of them uploaded to the YouTube archive linked in the panels down below, containing playlists of every game, every journey as I call them, that we've ever been on here on this channel. We're up to 555 episodes. At time of recording, this will go up, because I usually edit on Sunday, which is tomorrow for me, at the time of recording, and therefore we will have more episodes in the archive over the next week. What other than that? I think that's everything. Everything apart from a thank you to each and every one of you, be you a chatter, be you a lurker, be you watching live here on Twitch or in the YouTube archive, thank you very much for joining me on this journey this evening, and thank you for spending a little bit of your life here with me on the channel. It means the world. It always will do. And it always does. And a massive thank you to the mighty Turbo Drive Live for the raid you, sir, are a boss. Now, let's see if there is enough to pay the good vibes forwards. There is. Is there anyone on the raid list, however, that we can throw the stream over to? Um, yes, Fenaku. Oh, Fenaku's playing Timberborn. I love Timberborn. Right, we're throwing a raid over to Tim. We're throwing a raid over to Fenaku. And with that said, with that done, to each and every one of you, be you, well, may you, well, I'll try that again. To each and every one of you, may you all have a beautiful evening, morning, or afternoon, wherever it is around this whole wide world you are, and as always, until our paths next cross again, the vortex awaits, and I'll see you all next time.